Hey guys, James with Jetty USA and Esprit Tech. Wanted to do a quick video and go over some VTL mixing for you sailplane and scale guys. Uh, to do that, we're going to go ahead and set up a whole new model and uh, give you an idea where those menus are and how they work. So we'll go ahead and click menu. We're going to click on model and we're going to collect, scroll down and click on new model. We're going to go ahead and name this model VTL in case we ever need to get back to it and use it again. Once you've named the model, it's real simple. We're going to select our wing type and go through the rest of the uh, setup until we get to the VTL. So there's our name. Our model type is definitely going to be an airplane. We'll move on to the next screen. Uh, we'll go ahead and skip over our image profile for now. For our wing type, we're going to select two flaps, two ailerons. We're going to build us a VTL sailplane. And in the tail type, we're going to scroll over once to the right and select VTail. Uh, that'll get us the airplane configuration that we need for this video. Uh, we'll go ahead and use the presets for both the function and servo assignments, and we'll create the model. Once we have the model, we'll go ahead and tell it, no, we don't want to pair the receivers. This is, of course, a DS24, so it may be a little bit different in that regard to what you're used to seeing. Uh, we'll go ahead and jump back into the main menu, go into fine tuning, and we're going to scroll down to VTail Mix. Uh, VTL Mix, the screen is really simple, um, gives you mode, which allows you to change from global to separate. Uh, global just means that what we set here is going to be the same across all of our flight modes. If we change that to separate, that means that each flight mode, you'll have the opportunity to set different values in this screen. We're going to go ahead and for the sake of time and simplicity, we're going to leave it set to global and not use flight modes. Uh, first, the first thing that you're going to see in the list is the elevator. The next is the rudder. What this is, is this tells you how much or what percentage of throw is going to be given for each of the two axes that you're going to be controlling with that VTAIL. Um, from what I remember or what I recall, you're going to want uh, just as much elevator you, as you, you, you need and more rudder than you think you need or as much rudder as you can get. So probably want to set these values somewhere in the 50 to 75 or 50 to 75 percent range and work from there you're going to need to trim that you know according to what your aircraft is requiring if for some reason your linkage isn't quite right or something's not working out and you need asymmetric values you don't you can go ahead and click function button one below the screen that corresponds to the word to sym on the screen once that's highlighted, that'll allow you to adjust each of those values independently of the other or setting an asymmetric mix. Uh, if you want it to return to symmetric, you just click function button one again. It'll unhighlight the uh, symmetrical button. And now once you adjust the values, it'll adjust both servos together. Go ahead and play with this menu a little bit. If you have any questions pertaining to a specific model or if you get hung up with it at all, don't hesitate to reach out to us at Jetty USA or Esprit Tech. This is James and we'll see you next time.